Building an aircraft carrier not only requires huge investment in technology and capital, but also challenges the expertise of the shipbuilding industry in many fields. Ship design and construction are only half of the challenge. Once completed, these vast ocean assets must be staffed with an appropriate crew and undergo proper upkeep, otherwise, it not only does not work, but also causes harm. According to US media the national interest on 7th November, facing numerous challenges, it is not surprising that many aircraft carriers built in the last century have failed. Under the title, Floating Coffins, 5 Worst Aircraft Carriers Ever, the magazine listed the world's worst aircraft carriers to date. Russian Aircraft Carrier Admiral Kuznetsov In the early 90s, the Russian Navy received the only aircraft carrier named Admiral Kuznetsov after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Not only is it the worst carrier in service, but it's also the worst in recent decades, having suffered a series of incidents while operating at sea. When it arrived in Syria on a mission in 2016, it crashed several boat lanes. In 2017, the floating dock she was carrying during repairs sunk and a crane crashed through the hull and she was forced to suspend service. At the end of 2019, due to errors in normal welding operations when repairing, a fire broke out and burned it, causing about $1 billion in damage, two people died and more than a dozen people were injured. Despite its dire fate, Admiral Kuznetsov is still scheduled to return to service in 2023. High Aircraft Carrier Chakri Nerubet Highland's first and only aircraft carrier, HTMS Chakri Nerubet, was built by Spain's Bassard Shipyard and entered service in March 1977. The aircraft fitted to the light carrier include attack helicopters and Harrier short run, vertical takeoff and landing fighters. It was deployed for a variety of disaster relief operations. However, due to frequent lack of funds, it eventually turned into an expensive decoration. Recent information shows that HTMS Chakri Nerubet is allowed to run at most once a month for periodic training. U.S. Aircraft Carrier USS Ranger This was the first aircraft carrier built for the U.S. Navy and entered service in 1934, but it was always in very poor condition due to a series of bad decisions. It was quite small, displacement 14,576 tons, had few armaments and lacked the protection of corvettes. During World War II, unsuitable for deployment in the Pacific against Japanese troops, the USS Ranger was sent to the Atlantic for less intense missions. She was converted to a training carrier in early 1944 and decommissioned in 1946. China's Lining Aircraft Carrier this is the first aircraft carrier of the People's Liberation Army Navy, converted from the Kuznetsov class aircraft carrier with the original name Varyag, which China bought from Ukraine. It is named after the province of Lining where the ship was refurbished. In 2002, the ship was transported from Ukraine to Dalia port and completed there. Although China claims to have rapidly upgraded components, power failures do occasionally occur. In the 2010, it became almost a training ship. It is reported that the lining has been repaired and upgraded in recent years, but the extent of these so-called improvements and repairs is still unclear. Japanese Aircraft Carrier Shinano This is the third Yamto-class battleship of the Japanese Navy. When it was built, some senior Japanese military commanders wanted to turn it into a dedicated aircraft carrier, but some wanted to use it as a heavily armed reinforcement ship, but also hoped that it could be built. Can carry a large number of fighter aircraft. Because the Japanese army urgently needed it to serve in World War II, it rushed to put the Shinano into service in November 1944 without being completed in time. However, it had only just been transferred from the Yokosuka Naval Shipyard to Kure Naval Base to complete its refit when it was sunk by the American submarine USS Archerfish, killing 791 people. Therefore, Shinano has become the aircraft carrier with the shortest service life to date. Thank you everyone for watching this video.